The 13th edition of the African Games continue this uh, week. Uh, the last stretch of events uh, coming up. Remember, on Friday, uh, the Flying Eagles of Nigeria were unable to get to, to the uh, semi final after they lost 3 2 to uh, Senegal in that epic game. And Ladam Boso has blamed poor preparations for the All Star of the team. As a coach, I don't sponsor teams into the camp or for early preparation. That is a message to the administrators, and I think they will learn from it. That is going to be part, a key part of my technical report for the administrators to take note. And of course, for the progression, no matter what the situation, I think I personally will try to see how we can do it and then look for some legs that can reinforce this team for better performance ahead. While the Flying Eagles are out of the African Games, the Falconets have actually uh, stepped up into the semi-final. In other sports, Nigeria showed some strength to win four gold, two silver and seven bronze medals to cap their outing in arm wrestling on Saturday. Travel concludes its activities on Sunday night with Uganda taking the men's team event gold medal while Sierra Leone and Kenya got silver and bronze respectively. Nigeria will dominate the women's team event ahead of Kenya and Zambia in the individual events. Emmanuel King of Sierra Leone got the gold. Gerard Richard of Uganda silver. Stanley Ogoroje of Kenya took bronze. In the women's category, Adebisi Adekonsi of Nigeria won bronze. Marion Awo of Kenya took silver. Betty Hiram Mateng of Ghana took bronze. Scrabble is making his debut as one of the five demonstration spots at the 13th edition of the African Games. Uh, we made it we're one of those 29 sports that have been, you know, uh, advertised all this while. It's fantastic. It's beautiful to see. It was an emotional moment for me when the first tower was played. But well, it's a testament to the work we've done. Uh, and definitely we're going to be doing more because uh, there will then be focused on the Commonwealth. Uh, and then the Olympic thereafter. Where we have now, in terms of uh, where we uh, where we came from, I would say governments have seen that uh, it, it, it doesn't cost much to sponsor Scrabble. And then when you sponsor Scrabble, you get intellects, mm. people who will do good things for the state and country. I I feel really excited because this is going to also be an opportunity for me to showcase my talent and at the same time gain more experience, even if I don't win. I feel like the last few years, seven years or so, a lot of progress has been made, great milestones have been achieved, and um, it's, it's, a prom it, it, it's giving a promising future. Um, I think it's a big step up and it will help the sports to be more recognized around. It's the first time that uh, both uh, English and French scrabbles are, are played together on the same place, the same roles. And uh, this is a great opportunity for English-speaking English, English -speaking people and French-speaking uh, French people to, 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 to play together, to exchange and to see what we can do also for the future. And this week, uh, athletics will take center stage on Monday. A world record holder in the 100 meters, Toby Anusson, is set uh, to on the track this time around as she prepares to take on uh, other African runners in this championship. Other games to take place are uh, rugby on Tuesday. We also have uh, cricket, volleyball, taekwondo, tennis as well. From Accra, the epicenter of the 13th African Games, this is Tayo Ogunshaye for Afrosport TV.